there are some very exciting things happening today because I'm at the airport and we are gonna go for a trip to three other islands. They have these tiny planes which uh, fly between the islands. Last time I flew with a plane like that, we had to do an emergency landing. So I hope this time it's gonna be better. Normally there are also ferries between the islands, but now because of the virus there are no ferries. So yes, we are gonna go inside because we have the flight very soon. I am taking a taxi from the airport because there is this one site I really want to see on the island and it's gonna close soon. The entrance should be just around the corner and it is supposed to be a cave. behind me it just I just got back to the town We are gonna go up to the viewpoint Terceira is the second most uh, populated island on the Azores, it has something between 56 and 57,000 uh, inhabitants. And also I'm gonna tell you the way because it was quite funny. The flight took 30 minutes and well, basically the final destination of the plane was on another island, but it just kind of stopped on this island. So there were passengers coming to this island and there were passengers going to the other island. I also read a fun fact about the origin of the name of the island, Terceira. It says that Terceira is called uh, Terceira because it was discovered as the third island out of the nine. Wow! Here is another fun fact and that is that I actually have no idea where Am I gonna be staying tonight? That little blue church, it's quite cute. I had to give you an update of what just happened. And I just booked the accommodation basically one minute before I arrived to the place. So a lady who is working here in this complex she's the only one here right now and she's extremely nice and the girl named anna who normally works here at the check-in is working in a supermarket but the supermarket is already closed because it's 9 pm apparently someone is supposed to be coming to <laughs> to open the door and uh, yeah until then i'm like over here waiting in the backyard because it's been raining. But the great thing is that this place is near the airport and I have a flight early in the morning, so perfect.
Anna is such a sweetheart, is the girl who works here and she came to open the door. And also the hostel is in the center of the village. Either way, it's incredibly nice. Like there is a reception, there is the kitchen. These are my bags. Oh, there is a globe. So we are right here. Cute. I'm gonna show you the room. This is a hostel, so there are more beds in the room, but <laughs> right now there is no one. So look at this. I can basically pick where I want to sleep. So these are the bathrooms. This is my bed for tonight. They just told me to pick whichever bed I wanted, so... Yeah, the first day was quite fun. Yeah, I saw what I wanted to see here and even maybe more. Yeah, now I'm gonna go to bed because tomorrow morning I have a flight at 8.30, I think. And uh, I just have to explain this. Today we flew from Sao Miguel. This is where I live, in Ponta Delgada. We flew to Terceira up here tomorrow we are gonna fly to Fayal where I'm gonna have five hours and then I'm gonna fly to Flores and from Flores I'm gonna take a ferry to Corvo where I'm gonna spend uh, a day and a half and then I go back to Flores for another two and a half Days. Good morning! It's like 6.15 in the morning and I can feel like I cannot talk very loud because everything is just so quiet. Here is the thing, I am already at the airport and, uh, and uh, well here is the plan for today. We have two flights and the boat. But yeah, that's the plan for today. And uh, I also have to show you the name of this bar because I like it a lot. Here it is. The airport here on the island of uh, Terceira is basically a military base. This military air base here is the home of the Portuguese Air Force. Also, it is a home to the United States Detached Air Force Unit. Also, you know the first transatlantic planes which were crossing. So, this base was one of the two fueling stations. The planes had to stop here to get gas or whatever you put into the planes. And The United States used this airbase a lot during the Cold War and then also it was used during the Second World War. So the situation is that we just landed on Fayal. Uh, there is the airport right behind me and right there on the other side it's, uh, it's our plane. So the flight took like 20 minutes, maybe 25. We are here on Fayal and we are on the southern part, somewhere right here. It's like 9.40 uh, and the next flight is at 2.40 in the afternoon. 9, 10, 11, 12... Exactly, I have 5 hours, so we are gonna do something. Fayal is like the third most populated island but it's still very small because it's like 21 kilometers long and 14 kilometers wide so it's tiny well this part looks kind of um, exotic it kind of reminds me asia it's so nice So you know also these short inter-island flights, they kind of feel like these um, hop-on, 
hop of uh, touristic buses, you know, which you can take. And these are all banana fields. Well, I ended up by this uh, natural pool. And there should be also a port for, uh, you know, fishing. So we are gonna try to check it out. I don't know, because there is some construction going on over here. but I'm um, so freaking tired I have to go to the city center which is like a 15 minute walk from the airport and I have the ferry in like an hour and a half and we are gonna go to Corvo okay and from here it's actually possible to see the the island where we are gonna go by ferry it's that little island in the back 